Hello, little unicorns. How are you guys today? Just getting my seat all situated. How's it going? Did you guys have a good Earth Day yesterday? I sure did. It was such a nice day. I'm so glad that it was pretty and the sun was out so that everybody could go outside and have a really nice Earth Day. Right, yellow unicorns? Hello! Um, but today's raining and that's okay because we need rain too, right? Not only the sun, but we need the rain to help things grow. And things that grow do what? That's right, help our planet Earth, right? Get better. Take that band-aid right off because we're doing such great things to take care of our Earth. And you guys did a lot yesterday for Earth Day, I'm sure. What kind of stuff did you guys do? Did you go for a listening walk? I did. And I heard birds and I heard doggies barking. And I heard, oh, I watched the leaves blowing in the wind. There was a lot of wind yesterday. And I saw lots of people walking. It was just such a beautiful day. I had a great Earth Day. I hope you guys did too. Um, I just watched a video of May doing her directive drawing with Miss Britt uh, for Earth Day, Art for Earth. And she did a great job making her earth and her birds and her flowers and clouds and sun and grass. Way to go, May. I was so proud of you. And I can't wait for you to send me that picture. And speaking about people that sent me a picture, the um, on Tuesday, we did um, Art for Earth and we made Miss Deb's favorite animal, a turtle, right? This is Ellis's turtle that she did all by herself and she spelt turtle and she made hearts and that is a really cute little turtle and she used lots of different colors, green and red and blue. Very good, Ellis, round of applause for Ellis. I love seeing all of the artwork and all of your writing and all of your hard work that you guys are doing at home. Um, I even love seeing pictures of like Leah and James going to picking, uh, going to pick strawberry, um, strawberries at the strawberry uh, farm. I love seeing Soren and his family at the lake house getting ready to go fishing. So um, it seems like everybody's been enjoying this week filled with Earth Day activities with their families and Ellis. Very good way to go, Ellis. Lots of shout outs today. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to my daughter, Emma. She had made this. It's actually, uh, let's see, she made it. Uh, what grade was she? Oh, she was in fifth grade, same grade that Miss Deb's uh, son Hayden is in now. And you see this here in the middle? She made that and it says inspire. And what's in the middle there? That's right, planet Earth, right? You guys learned how to draw that. And what's up here? The sun. And what is all around planet Earth? Can you see? Those are people, right? And those people are all around planet Earth because Earth is what we all have in common, right? So they're all surrounded by planet Earth, holding hands, and making sure together we make our planet Earth the most beautiful, safe place that we can live, right? We only have one Earth. And next week, it's another fun theme. We're going to talk about the solar system, right? And you're going to see that there is only one planet Earth, right? And there used to be nine planets. That's a six. There used to be nine planets, but... Scientists now say there's eight and one of them is a star. Do you know which one that was or is? Well, we're gonna find out next week, so stay tuned, okay? You'll have to come back. But before we get started in today's learning, we're gonna learn actually about compost. Um, Alice and James, Charlotte's mommy, she sent me a list of what they're doing to make compost, and we're gonna talk about what it is and why it's helpful to our planet, and we're gonna play a little game, okay? So 
Here's my little puppy. He's a little, um, a little, uh, oh gosh, pug. Sorry. And I would love a pug. I have an English bulldog, Pudgy, but I would love a pug and a French bulldog. Three doggies. Yes. Love doggies. Want them all over the place. So this is my pug and my pug is going to be my breathing buddy today. So do you guys have a breathing buddy? All right, run, 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 run. Go get your breathing, buddy. All right, he's on my knee right now, going for a ride. All right, let's put our breathing buddies on our bellies, right? Because we're gonna deep, deep belly breath breaths to get our brain ready to think. Our brain, right? Our brain, brain. Our three pound brain. All right, so get your breathing, buddy. I'm gonna put on my chest so you can see him. Hello. And let's breathe. How many times do we breathe? Right. Four times, okay? In through the nose, out through the mouth, close our eyes, let's go. Four, right? Four. Do you guys count with me when, um, when we're doing our breathing? That's a good way to practice your counting. Right? You don't want to rush it. We've got all the time in the world to learn what we need to. You want to take your time and breathe in and get that brain ready to learn and calm. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I can. Thank you, Pug. Bye-bye. Maybe we'll see him back again later. Okay. So, oh, did you guys see the, um, well, Miss Deb sent the text to your parents. And it is a website for the uh, Atlanta Aquarium. And what you can do is you can go to their website and you can watch the fish swimming in their habitats, in their little oceans in the aquarium. And Emma and I watched it today and we saw a whale, we saw a shark, we saw a stingray, we watched the puffins that are so cute and the penguins and we watch the otters swimming around, playing with their toys. It is a great thing to do. You guys should go and watch that um, because that's another way that we can help our planet is taking care of our animals in the ocean, right? And so you guys can appreciate all those animals in there. Um, another thing you can do is look at Zoo Atlanta's website. Um, what they're doing is they're taking all the animals and they're letting them walk around the zoo because there's no people there right now. And so like yesterday, they took the goats and the goats went to go meet the pandas. They weren't in the same habitats. They were behind the, the gate, but they could see each other and they were waving hi. It's really cute. They look so like they're having so much fun. So you guys can look at that too. Um, okay, so today um, we are going to continue our talks about Earth Day right? And yesterday we talked about recycling and I showed you all of the stuff uh, that I collected in one day that we can and we can't recycle. Do you remember some of the stuff that we can't recycle? Right? One is a fork. What's another one? Pizza box. That's right. I didn't know that. That was new to me. I thought with the cardboard you could just throw away pizza boxes, but you can't because they have this this um, like plastic gluey part to it that doesn't recycle. Okay, it takes a long time. And um, what can we recycle? Right, we can recycle aluminum cans or cans. One thing I didn't show you was glass. You can recycle glass. And did you guys do all your recycling morning work and fun things that we sent? It's okay if you didn't, but if you did, send it to me so I can see it and give you guys a shout out. It makes me so happy that you guys are learning using your brains and um, helping Mother Earth. It's really cool. Um, okay, so we are going to again talk about compost, but before we do that, let's do some of our fun facts about Earth Day, okay? And it says that in 2012 on Earth Day, more than 100,000, oh, 
100,000 people rode their bikes in support of the planet. So 100,000 people got on their bikes and rode around their neighborhoods cheering for planet Earth and cheering to help our planet stay beautiful and safe. Now, I know you guys are doing a lot of riding your bikes, whether it's with training wheels or without training wheels, or maybe scooter. Well, there were 100,000 people that rode their bikes to save the planet. They did this to cut down on the use of cars, because sometimes when we use cars too much, it hurts our air, and we don't have fresh air like we have out there right now to breathe in the air. Okay, so here's that little boy riding his bicycle with his what on his head? His helmet. I know you guys are being leaders of good and wearing your helmets, right? Okay. All right, here's another one. To celebrate Earth Day and make the world a better place, we can all do that. Just do your share. People can plant trees, clean up a stream, that's body of water, clean up a stream or the ocean or a river um, or help their community garden right do you guys remember at Haygood we had our own garden or we have our own garden that Miss Sarah made for us and you remember we went and we got um, what do we get we got uh, romaine lettuce uh, we've got we got arugula um, carrots what else did we get um, we got lots of great things from our garden right in our community is Morningside right we went over all that so for Earth Day people are helping plant trees clean our oceans or our waters our bodies of water and helping our gardens grow okay and one thing we can do to help our gardens grow is compost and we're going to talk about that all right here's another one over one billion one billion, that's a lot. That's more than the 100,000 bikers. That's so much that I can't even count close to that. For one billion people today celebrate Earth Day all over the world. Look at that bow on Earth. We're wrapping it up and making it so pretty, right? Because why? The Earth is the one thing we all have in common no matter where we live on the planet. Okay, and then this last one goes with our recycling and um, what we're going to do with compost. Plastic garbage kills at least one million creatures in the ocean each year. Now, I didn't want to say that bad word. I wanted to say that it hurts them, but it does hurt them very, very badly. Okay, so these plastic bags, these guys not good in fact public shouldn't be or a supermarket shouldn't be selling these anymore they should not no we should be using our cloth bags because these plastic bags can really hurt all those creatures in the ocean that i was just talking to you about at the aquarium that you guys can watch that miss deb showed you guys okay so let's try not to use those plastic bags. I have a prediction. I predict that when you all grow up and talk, up, uh, grow up to be my age, which is pretty old, 51, shh, there won't be any more plastic bags. That's my prediction. No more plastic bags when you're my age, 51, or younger hopefully younger hopefully maybe when you're teenagers or hopefully maybe when you're six right you're four now maybe two years that would be so good let's do that let's help planet earth let's tell our supermarkets no more plastic bag let's save those fishies remember sign language for fish can you do that with me it's like a little fishy sign language for turtle Sign language for bird. Very good. We'll learn some more today. All right. Let's do our ABCs, our letter writing for Earth Day. 
okay? So I want you guys to put your listening ears on, listening eyes on, listening mouths, zip, lip, right? Noses, no, don't listen with our noses, but crisscross applesauce, hands in our lap, listening, full bodies, brain ready. All right, let's get your pad and your paper. Okay, go get a pencil, go get a pen, go get a crayon, a marker, whatever you want, a piece of paper, any kind. And let's practice writing with this superhero, Matt Man, some of our letters, okay? All right, so the game is, I show you the letter, eyes on me, the letter is, you tell me what letter it is, we sound the letter out, and then we're going to talk about what the letter is, represents for Earth Day, okay? All right, here we go. Eyes on me, the letter is, right, D. D says what, friends? D, 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 right. What does Matt Man say? We need to write the letter D, okay? Get your pens, let's do it together. Right, one big line down, and then one big curve next to the big line down. Big line down, and then a big curve. Try it. You can do it. Yes, you can. Okay. Now, what does D stand for for Earth Day? We're going to say do not use do, D O, D, do not use plastic or paper plates. Plastic or paper plates. Why? Because if you use regular plates, that's reusing, right? The three R's for recycling. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So if you don't use paper plates, it reduces the amount of trash we have, and you're reusing your plates at home. And I'm sure you have beautiful plates at home that you can use. We don't need to use paper plates, right? We may have to sometimes, but if we can reduce, make it less, then that will help our planet, okay? Do, do not, okay? All right, eyes on me. Mm -hmm. I see you, I see you, see, okay, eyes on me, the letter is right, J, and J says what? J, J, right, J for, oh wait, let's, let's write it first, okay, J is the hard one, because Matt Man says we want a big line down with a little curve at the bottom and a little line at the top. We can just do it all in one little loop. It's like a hook. So take your pen, and you're going to do a big line down, and then hook it up. Big line down, and hook it up. And then you can write your little line at the top. Okay? That's J. J is going to be for the word junk. Let's throw our junk in the trash. Okay? Junk is like garbage stuff we don't need, stuff we don't want, okay? Junk can be jeans that don't fit you anymore. Let's recycle them. How can we recycle jeans? Well, we can turn them into shorts, jean shorts. We can donate them to people that don't have jeans, like at Goodwill. We can trade them with some of our friends that it may fit. we may fit in those jeans and you can get a pair of their jeans, right? Okay? So, junk, let's throw it in the trash. Yesterday we talked about the letter L, litter bug. We don't want to be a litter bug and just throw our trash or our junk on the ground, right? That doesn't make our planet Earth nice. We want to put it in the trash. All right, here we go. This is a good one. Eyes on me. The letter is M. Mmm, right? We take our hand on our belly like we're, if something's yummy, mmm. Up, down, up, down, stop. That's how we write it. How many big lines do we need, friends? Four. Okay? Up, down, up, down, stop. That's how you write M. Are you writing it? Good job. Good job. Okay. M is for make a difference. You can do it. Yes, you can. Everybody in this, on this planet can make a difference. And if we're all doing our part, think about all the great things that we can do for planet Earth. 
Sometimes people will say, oh, I can't do it all by myself. It's too big of a job. Let somebody else do it. Mm -mm. We can all do it. Make a difference. One step at a time. One step at a time. Great. All right. I like this one too. Ready? Eyes on me. The letter is U. You and who are best friends. Q. Very good. Q and you. Best friends. All right. What does you say? Yes, Mr. Jackson, it is a vowel. Okay. Take your fist and like you're punching your belly. Uh. Uh. You. Okay. Let's write the letter U. Another tricky one with Matt Man. Matt Man says it's two big lines with a little curve in between. Let's just do it in one big swoop. Okay. And you guys did this at school with me. All right. Take your pens and your paper. Make a big line down, hook it around like a J, and then keep going up until you get to the top again. All it takes is practice. I can do it. Yes, I can. You. Okay, what does you stand for for Earth Day? You stands for use your brain. That's right. We say that all the time in class. Use your own brain. Use your brain. Make your brain calm. Breathe brain. You have a very smart brain. Use your brain, okay, when you think about how you can make planet Earth beautiful and safe. Use your brain that if you have some trash, you know, don't throw it on the ground. Use your brain that if you see plastic bags, don't use those. Use the cloth bags, right? Use your brain. I can do it. Yes, I can. All right, and the last one we're going to do today is eyes on me. The letter is Z, right? Z. What does Z say? Z, 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 Zoo. Okay, and that's what the letter's for today, Zoo. We'll talk about that one second. Okay, this is another kind of hard letter. Boy, Miss Britt, you picked out some hard letters to write this today, but you can do it. All right, you just got to try. So do it. Let's do it again in one stroke. So get your pens and at the top you want to do one little line across. What's that big word we use? Diagonal. Do a diagonal big line all the way to the corner and then do another little line the other way. Z. It's kind of like an S but an S has curves. It has the little curves at the top at the bottom and the Z has the little lines but you can do it. It just takes practice, okay? Now, zoo is for zebra, right? And sometimes we see zebras at the zoo, and zoo is our word that we want to talk about for planet Earth. We want to make planet Earth good and safe and healthy and beautiful for all of those zoo animals, right? They need habitats to live in. They need beautiful water to drink and beautiful plants and trees to grow because like giraffes, they eat leaves on a plant, right? So we want to make our planet good for all the animals, not just zoo animals, all the animals in Africa, all the animals in every continent around the world, our little animals that we have at home, okay? So let's use our brains, make a difference, throw our junk in the trash, do not use plastic bags, and make our earth good for our friends at the zoo, okay? And go ahead and watch Zoo Atlanta's webcam or their, um, uh, their it's Instagram, but you guys don't really get on that. But anyway, have your parents show you how the zookeepers are bringing all the animals around the zoo to meet other animals. It's really, really cute. All right, let's use our reusable cups. I don't have anything fun on my cup. You guys have like tr the trolls and the princesses and superheroes and Paw Patrol all in your cups. I just have black, but that's fine. I like it. I could probably decorate it with stickers. Let's do that. I'm going to put a, let's put a um, rainbow sticker on my cup. Make it pretty. Okay. Cheers. All right. So that is the ABCs of Earth Day. 
All right, now let's talk about compost. And thank you, Charlotte and the James family and Charlotte's mommy for sending me a list of things that we can compost. Now, what is compost? Hmm, what is it? I'm gonna read it to you, okay? It says compost can be used to help our soil, our dirt, okay? It will keep moisture in the garden and prevent weeds from taking over the garden, okay? Weeds are kind of different flowers or plants that can take over our garden and not help make our plants and our flowers and our vegetables and our fruits grow, okay? And then also, when you make compost, the worms that come into that help make the soil even better and it makes all the nutrients, all the vitamins. Do you guys take vitamins every day? I do. Do you take gummy vitamins? I used to take Flintstone vitamins when I was little. But those vitamins in the soil, right? Plants need vitamins too to help them grow. So we can make, see those kids there making compost? Looks like dirt. They're making compost. Okay, so what, what, what do we need? We're gonna play a game. What do we need to make compost? Um, so basically, the first thing we need is a place to put it all. Sorry. And here is a compost bucket. And they sent your parents a, an activity where you guys can use an old can. You can paint it and you can use that to put all of your compost materials in, okay? Or instead of a bucket, you can just dig, if your parents let you, a big hole in your garden or in your backyards, and you can put all of the compost things in that hole so it's already in the earth, all right, in your soil. But we're gonna use this little compost bucket and again you guys can make one at home and this sign right here we talked about yes that yesterday is the sign for recycling when you see this little sign that means that it can be recycled and each arrow are the three r's for recycle reduce reuse recycle and it's usually green sometimes it's blue all right so if we were in class i would put this on the board and then we would tape all the things that can go in that bucket we've done that before but we're going to do that together here now so let's see can you see my bucket there yes all right so let's talk about stuff that we can use in our compost okay and these are all things that we either eat or we've used okay some that we eat we've already eaten or we've used or sometimes they may go bad in the refrigerator or um, uh, it's it's stuff that is left over after our dinner okay so let's talk about one of the first things one of the first things and this is the list I can send this to your parents this is the list that Miss Allie sent us Miss Allison it's Charlotte's mommy not yoga Allison of the stuff that they say we can um, compost now sometimes People have different ideas, but we're gonna go by this list, okay? The first thing is this. Do you guys see this? What do you see there? What do you see, friends? Right, I see cheese, I see yogurt, I see milk, I see butter, right? These are dairy items, that's what we call them, dairy. Milk, butter, yogurt, cheese, right? So. If you have your little bucket for compost and you drink your milk with your cereal and there's some of the milk left over that turns like, let's say you're eating Fruit Loops or Lucky Charms and it turns different colors, you can take that leftover milk. Some people drink it, me. But if there's a little bit left, pour that in your compost bucket and you can give that to Mother Earth. Okay, to the earth, planet earth. Same with your yogurt. If you have a little bit of yogurt left out, uh, scoop it out of the cup, 
put that in your compost and then what would you do with the plastic container right you would try to recycle it right and I don't know if it's something you can recycle because it's plastic but if you have this little sign on it then that means that you can recycle it okay so that is dairy all right another thing you guys can recycle or compost put in your compost buckets are what are these we call that breads and pasta and cereal right we just talked about cereal right those little lucky charms up there i see the pasta at the top i see bread emma and i want to learn how to make bread if we do we'll give you guys some i see muffins right those are things you can put in your compost bucket to make our soil have lots of vitamins to help the plants the vegetables and the fruits grow and to help our planet earth okay yummy so if you're eating your bread and i know some kids don't like the crust here's a great place to put your crust in the compost bucket put it in there that would be great all right now with your muffin how you peel off that little paper i think that that could probably be um, recycled unless it's like a pizza box where it has the um, uh, plastic around it okay all right so that's another thing that you can put in your compost buckets all right here's another thing what do you see there right I see fish I see meat and eggs Okay, so you can put in your compost your leftover hamburger or steak. You can put in eggs. You can put in the egg shells. That would be really good. And some fish. Now, some people say you shouldn't do stuff like that, like with fish um, or meat or um, even sometimes dairy, because sometimes it can get smelly. And it can really smell up your house. And I know I, I like candles in my house. I don't like smelly. So that's probably why they don't want you to put that in your bucket. But if you put your bucket outside or you dig that hole in the ground, then you don't have to worry about the smell, right? It's going to actually be good because the worms are going to come and it's going to attract the worms and they're going to help with the nutrients. Sounds gross. Believe me, I know. But it is helping the earth. Okay, we're gonna draw some of these things in a little bit. All right, do you guys know, we talked about this, they're growing food. Do you guys know what this is? What are these? Are they fruits? They're vegetables, yummy, veggies. All right, not veggie straws, those are snacks. <laughs> vegetables, what kind of vegetables do you see there? I see an onion. I see a carrot, I see zucchini and peas and a pumpkin, right? So you can, all of your, and corn, all of these things, all of these vegetables that you have scraps or don't finish or may go bad in your refrigerator, you can put those in your compost buckets to make our soil really good with lots of nutrients. Okay what are these right those are fruits avocado bananas banana phone hello hello bananas grapes strawberries right leah i think actually most of our class went to the strawberry patch the strawberry garden pick strawberries which is so fun well when you eat strawberries and you have that top part that you don't eat put that in your compost bucket help our planet help the soil okay friends you're not going to believe this but it is true you can put this in our compost bucket okay all right ready what are these <gasps> mm. they're not growing food but they're treats and they're important i see candy and cookies and donuts and cake yum getting hungry 
you can put those also in your compost bucket. What? And you probably won't want to share that because it's so yummy. But maybe when you're eating your cookie, just save a tiny, tiny little piece that you can put in the bucket. Right? You can make a difference. Everybody can do it. So save just that tiny little piece of that cookie and put it in your compost bucket. All right. So those are some of the foods that we can make our compost and it's a mixture of foods and non-foods. Oh, guess what? Remember we talked about that pizza box and how we can't recycle that pizza box and that was something that was new to me too. You can put that in your compost bucket. You can. You can. So you can also also put in uh, things that aren't food like we have on here too on the list. Um Paper plates, uh, muffin wrappers, I talked about that, okay. Um, paper, toilet paper, uh, coffee, my coffee, all the coffee grinds that I use to make this yummy coffee. Mm. Um, you can put that in the compost too. So it's not just food, right? Or banana peels um, or leftover treats. You can do it. It's also stuff like paper and uh, coffee grinds and pizza boxes, all kinds of stuff. What you need to do is to know whether or not you can actually put it in the compost is you need to look for this sign, okay? B, what letter is this? P, that's an I, I. That means that you can put it in your compost, okay? And it's gonna look yucky. Sometimes it may smell yucky, but don't be fooled. It's really, really good for our planet Earth and to make our soil rich with nutrients to help our plants and trees and flowers grow, okay? So if you have questions, just look for that sign. Okay, just like this is the, right, recycling sign. All right, and this again, this is stuff that you can and can't recycle. The green is the recycle can, the gray is the other can. And I think some of those things that it says you can't recycle is only because it gets smelly. But just put it outside, dig that hole, go out and play in the dirt again, all right? Okay, that is compost. And that's our game of putting it in our compost bucket. So why don't we then do some art for Earth? Okay, like May was doing and like um, uh, uh, Ellis was doing. Ellis made the turtle. May uh, drew planet Earth. Sorry, I got, got distracted. Something came through on my phone. Um, so today, since we're talking about compost, let's draw some food, okay? Let's draw some food together. So take your pads and your piece of paper like May. She just went to her desk, got some paper, got all of her, I think she was using colored pencils. I like to use my markers. Again, you can get watercolors, um, paints, crayons, whatever you have. So let's get our paper and let's draw some food that we can put in our compost bucket. All right, so let's see. Why don't we start with something yummy? Okay, let's draw some of our treats. Yes, we're going to eat our treats before we eat our growing food. We're going to draw them first, all right? So let's first make some candy. So I'm going to make a red candy and an orange candy. So take your pens, and what you want to do is you want to make an oval, okay? Anywhere on your paper. Just We're going to make lots of food on one piece of paper, okay? And then on the side, you want to do letter M on its side, or letter W. So it'll be up, down, up, down, stop, up, down, up, down, stop, like that. And that's how you can make a little candy in a wrapper, okay? Or try it like this. 
like an oval or an O or a um, circle. And then you can draw kind of a rounded triangle, kind of looks like a bow. And you can make the candy like that. So these are hard candies. So I'm going to have a red candy. You color in the circle. And I'm going to make an orange candy. So I'm going to color in the circle. And on my painting here, well, I don't have the gray. I guess I can get my oil pastel. But you can also color in these parts gray or white. Okay? So that's our hard candy. Did you guys try that? Good. Very good. All right. Let's make a cookie. All right. A cookie is something that's kind of easy. We'll make a chocolate chip cookie. Okay. Chocolate chip cookie is going to, again, be an oval. And then you're going to make little chocolate chips in the cookie. You can make those into triangles. You can make those into circles. Okay, and I'm going to color those little dots black, like that, for the chocolate chips. And then, or you could use dark brown, but I don't have that. I don't have those options. And then I'm going to take my brown, and I'm going to color in my cookie, my chocolate chip cookie. I'm getting hungry. And again, I'm going fast. You guys take your time. Brown. Mmm. Cookie. Chocolate chip. Yummy. Who likes chocolate chip cookies? Cookie Monster. Do you remember what color Cookie Monster is? Blue. And who likes trash on Sesame Street? Do you remember? Right. Oscar the Grouch. And Oscar the Grouch is what color? Green. All right. So that's our candy and our cookies. Now let's draw some fruit that's going to go in our compost. So let's draw. Let's see. Let's draw a pear. I'm going to use green. And the way you draw a pear is you do a smiley, I mean a, a sad face, a frown, upside down you. And then you want to do a big curve on one side, another big curve on the other side, and then loop them together. Okay. And then you want to make a stem and leaves. Okay? So you make a little triangle in the middle and two little um, kind of ovals at the top. And that's your pear. And you can color in a pear green or yellow. So I'll color the leaves in green. I'm going to color the stem brown. And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to color my pear. I'm going to color it in yellow. And again, I'm going fast. Okay. Your pear. Okay. That didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but I'm not getting frustrated. I'm having a calm brain. Okay. But that's going to be your pear. So it's a frown and then a big curve on both sides, and then just connect them together with a little loop. And then put your leaves at the top with ovals and your little triangle for your stem. Okay, let's draw another fruit. Let's try um, cherries, okay? Cherries, do you guys like cherries? I know Mia had a cupcake with cherries on the top. So cherries are usually red, so all you need to do is make two little red circles kind of next to each other right fun with dots like that okay and then you take i'm going to take black and you do two lines like a v make an upside down v two lines connecting to the dots like that upside down v and then you want to make a little leaf again so the leaf is Kind of like an oval you can make two leaves one on each side like that and you have cherries okay so we have two candies or no three candies cookie and candies then we've got mother nature's treat or sweets we've got a pear and 
cherry cherries for fruit okay now let's see if we can make some vegetables all right so why don't we make a carrot let's do that so what color is a carrot you said orange great if you don't have orange doesn't matter you can make your carrot blue if you want there are actually are other color carrots but most of them are i think there's red carrots and yellow yellow carrots too but all right let's make our carrot so the way that you make a carrot is you're gonna make an upside down u or a brown and then at the at the tips of each one you're gonna do a really long v Okay, an upside down U or a frown, and then a really long V. And then you're going to make lines going all the way down inside. Okay, that's our carrot. And then at the top of your carrot, so you can have the lines orange, or you can color in your carrot and then make lines with another color so you can see them. So I'll take black. So you can see my lines, okay? There's that. And then you, I'm gonna take my green, and this is the part of the carrot that you don't eat, the green, but that's the part that comes from the ground. And just make kind of looking like grass at the top, just little lines going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's the part right there that you can put in your compost. It's not the, the part that you don't eat, okay? So that's a carrot. And then let's go to, we can make an egg. An egg is kind of easy to make, okay? So what you wanna do is let's take orange because that's gonna be the yolk. So make an orange circle, right? And then you just wanna take yellow and kind of do almost like it's like a flower. They're just like little squirvies little um kind of looks like what we do for um clouds and just go around the circle and that will be your egg called a sunny side up egg and then you can color that all in yellow around your orange and i'm going to outline it with black just so that you guys can see it here i'll outline the whole thing i actually like to outline my drawings it makes it pop okay but there's my egg and I'll show you if I outline with black my carrot see how you can see it better and if I outline my cherries you can see it better my pear my pear is kind of a funny looking pear but it's all right we're kind of funny people anyway. And there's my pair. I hope you guys are trying all this. You can do it. Yes, you can. This is a colorful piece of paper. You can use it for when you're thinking about um, your compost. All right, let's do one more thing. Let's do a bowl of cereal. All right, you see that at the top? Let's do a bowl of cereal. Um, I don't know if you have more room. I'm running out of room. Um, so I'm going to do it on the side, okay? So I'm going to take my black, and what you want to do is you want to do kind of a big smiley face, okay? And then you want to do two little lines coming down from the smiley face, and then attach those two lines with another big smiley face, like that. You see that right there? That's going to be our bowl. All right, and then you want to make all different circles to for the cereal. So just you can make as many as you want. You can make five, you can make 10, you can make 20. Like that. That's our cereal inside. And then the spoon is just a line coming out of the cereal. Because you're not going to see the, all the spoon right there with a curve at the top, because the spoon is inside our cereal bowl. And then you can decide what colors you want for your cereal. So I'm gonna make mine pink. 
pinks. I'm gonna make it nice and colorful. And purple. Pink and purple. I'm gonna make my bowl purple too. It's my favorite color. And if that's a plastic spoon, what do we wanna do, friends? We can't recycle it, so we want to reuse it or reduce using that. And I'm gonna make my spoon yellow. So there's my cereal, friends. So those are all of our art for Earth, all of our foods that we can recycle. Did you guys try that at home? Very good. Hard candies, chocolate chip cookie, pear, cherries, egg, sunny side up egg, carrot, and yummy cereal. Very good, friends. Everybody give yourselves a round of applause. You guys did a great job with that. I'm going to put a sticker on my I Can Do It card, and I think I'm going, oh, there's cherries, because we made cherries. I'm going to put cherries on my I Can Do It card. Very good. Okay, Earth Day Art. All right, before we get into this book, actually, this is taking a long time, this circle time today, because we're learning a lot. I think I'm going to, we already went over sign language, okay, that we learned the other day, which was fish, bird, turtle, okay? So you guys practice that. So that will be our sign language. Um, our Earth Day bingo, oh, plant a garden, right? Go plant a garden. I know Ellis did that. Plant a garden and do your compost. So Earth, our place we have in common, looks so beautiful, okay? Just like we did at Haygood with our garden, thanks to Miss Sarah. Keep building with Legos. Let's see what you build. <gasps> build a garden. Yes, build a garden with Legos and show me. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. Build a garden. And before I get into this book, because this book is oh, it's one of my favorites and it's so, I wish you guys actually were in the same room as I am because the book's not going to look as pretty, I don't think, on the video as it would in person, but wait till you see it. But I know it's not Friday, it's Thursday, but this would be your brag tag. Happy Earth Day if you guys were coming to school. So I'll send that to your parents tomorrow. They can print it out and you can put that on your blue bags. Happy Earth Day. Okay, now for the drum roll, please. The best part of today's circle time. Well, everything was really pretty kind of fun, um, especially drawing all that stuff with you. Those are fun things to draw. Um, all right, I'm going to take a sip, my rainbow. I found this book, and I got it yesterday uh, from that really nice man from Amazon who's delivering stuff to us when we can't go to the stores. And I looked at it yesterday, and it's just so beautiful. Look, you can even see the back. Do you guys know what that is on the back cover? It's a sunflower. I tried to plant sunflower seeds to make sunflowers, but the little squirrels ate my seeds. And that's fine. That was food for them. Sunflower. So that's just a taste of what this book will show you. It says, it's a love letter to our planet. Thank you, Earth. I think I need to get up a little bit closer so you guys can see this book really well, okay? Thank you, Earth. And it's a photographer who w went around planet Earth and took gorgeous pictures, put it in this book, and added words, okay? Thank you, Earth. So here we go. Thank you, Earth. And what's that? Looks like a little ducky. And he's sleeping. Shh, sleeping. Shh. Okay. It says, Dear Earth, what do you guys see? I see a spider web. Oh, I see an egret, or a, a, I think that's an egret, or a birdie at the beach. And what's this? Beautiful sky, right? Looking down on mountains. 
It says, thank you for water and those that float for slippery seaweed and stone. Ugh, friends, look at these pictures. Ah, my favorite otter. You can watch the otters on their webcam at the zoo. More birds. I think that's a mommy bird and a baby bird. There's seaweed. Do you know that we can eat seaweed? It's very good. And stones. I love collecting stones. Not that big. Little ones from all over when I go traveling. Thank you for mountains and minerals that strengthen bills and bones. Oh, friends, look at that picture. What's at the top of the mountains? Snow. There's the bird. And what are those? Deer. Are they reindeer? Maybe. Thank you for air. Even fishy whale. Even fishy whale breath. Thank you for colors and coastlines. And beach. My happy place. The beach. See those whales? Out of their spouts. There's water. Look at that coastline. And there's the beach. Who's on the beach? Looks like seals. Thank you for tiny and towering. All right, which one on the page do you think is tiny? Right, the ladybug's going to be tiny and the tree is going to be towering, right? When you look up at trees, that's what this photographer has done here. He took a picture looking up at the tree. They tower over you. They're so tall. For trees and vines that reach. Trees. And those are vines. And do you know what animal that is? It's actually a sloth. And sloths are in a place called Costa Rica. And they move really, really slow. Slower than turtles. And I saw a sloth when I was at Costa Rica. And they are so cute. But they are so slow and so lazy. And they sleep all the time. Thank you for curves and prickles and parallels and patterns. Curves, prickles, parallels. Can you see those bugs on that leaf? And look at all those turtles, right? We drew a turtle that looks like that. Turtles. All shapes that repeat. What are those? Right, sunflowers. Remember we talked about how the sunflowers, when the sun's out, the sunflowers try to find the sun. And when the sun goes down, they hang their heads low because they want the sun. Sunflowers. Thank you for leaves and stems and buds. For planet parts, we can eat. Looks like fall leaves, right? Fall leaves are red, yellow, brown. Orange, flowers, what color are those? Purple, we drew this today. Carrots and more vegetables. I think those are zucchinis. Thank you for sounds and storms and seasons. Right, our season dance, do you remember? Fall, winter, spring, and summer, right? April is not a season, it's the, it's the name of a, of a month, but April is in the season of spring. Bird, storm, seasons, and struggles. I guess he's having a hard time trying to climb up that leaf. And what is that? All right, it's a squirrel. We collected acorns for the squirrels, remember? And pale in between. You see that bird flying and that beautiful water? Our planet is so pretty, friends. And you guys are helping it stay pretty. Thank you for rays and, ra and radicals and overlapping greens. 
Look at all that green. Those are flowers. Do you guys find these dandelions and blow on them and make a wish? When you blow on them, what they do is they make more, more flowers. Thank you for jumbles, ingredients for soil, <gasps> ingredients for soil. That's what we talked about today. Compost, that's what that does. And bright new growth in spring. Pretty flower. And all those leaves. Looks like fall again. Almost winter. Thank you for all that crawl. Yes, all, all, all. Even those that sting. So that's the crawling crab. You can see caterpillars and bees. But we need all of those insects to help pollinate the planets. And we need worms for our compost. Thank you for sunsets. My husband loves the sunset. And Emma and I love to watch the sunrise. I love the sunset too. But you have to get up really early to watch the sunrise. For sky room for birds, for edges eyes can roam. Look at that, it looks like a face. And that is a, just a really tall mountain. Look at all those birds flying. It's a beautiful sky. Thank you for beginnings for lifetimes. Look at all those happy animals because you guys are doing your part to take care of our earth. That's a jellyfish. Bunny rabbit. Oh, and that's it. And then it just tells us more things that we can do for planet earth. But friends, I know this probably didn't do a good job on the video. Thank you, earth. But these are gorgeous pictures. And the next time I see you, I'll show you this book. Well, friends, that is another Circle Time with Miss Britt. It was a great one. You guys are learning so much. I can do it. Yes, I can. You can make a difference for our planet. Stay well. Stay healthy. Enjoy the rain. Maybe watch Nemo because you can watch. look at all those fish in our ocean that we're going to keep safe, right? And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you.